Hi, welcome to Felixstowe Live. I'm Chris and we're here today at the Grosvenor Public House in Felixstowe where we're having a chat to the manager Dan and his better half Lucy who's here with their nipper Toby and uh, they've had as we all know pubs have had a really rough time during this last few months with Covid and stuff but they are getting open again they are getting customers coming in for a drink and a meal and stuff so things are coming back a bit nearer to normal hopefully we can get there so I had a chat with Dan and Lucy to see what's happening now you run Felix Stowe's really only town centre pub yeah i do and yeah. it's, it's a major meeting point for people and it's been closed for a long time but you've now been open a while and things are going yeah no things things are sort of stepping ahead now um stepping in the right right direction slowly mm. hopefully we've got a light at the end of the tunnel now yeah. um it's been a been a bit of a long and emotional year really we had a very good first sort of come round from from the first lockdown and you know um, but now we've been placed in tears so obviously there's a lot more restrictions yeah. Um, but yeah it's Christmas so we're positive so but your yeah. brewery has been pretty supportive yeah. hasn't it I brewery's think. been fantastic yeah literally um, I couldn't wish for probably a better company to work for um, and lately you know we've got a new executive on board last year and he, he's support he's supporting us he's supporting the communities um, we're getting free meals out to people um, we we've donated a lot of food to basic life and we yes. like every time we've closed so yeah we're uh, we're trying our best <laughs> all you can do I suppose really is keep soldiering yeah. on yeah definitely yeah so so you've got a good Christmas menu tell me tell me about how that's going because yep. some people have said things have been quite quiet for bookings yeah to be fair we, we we're quite good on Christmas Day mm. um, so we've we've obviously social distancing at the moment mm. uh, we've got a bit less than last year um, but we've done that to obviously look after our guests haven't we yeah um, with with that in mind I think we're around 30, 30 people at the moment which mm -hmm. is quite a nice number yeah we're not going to go any higher on that because because obviously safety of everyone we've, we've got a few spaces as well haven't we for christmas day drinkers yeah. so You've we'll be providing yeah. yeah it'll be just a sandwich and a couple of beers or and i do yeah. recommend if you book if you want to drink please uh book on christmas day because we are getting very like you know all the drinking tables are going yeah. so um you have got to have a sandwich so a bacon sandwich a sausage sandwich or something with that so yeah but hopefully this is going to clear up next year and you'll be able to get back yeah. into a proper yeah. way of life, won't That's what you? we're hoping for. <laughs> the Euros is next year, so it's going to be a big year for us, hopefully. Um, so that'll be fantastic. Um, hopefully we can get into the rhythm of sports again, have a family day on Sunday as usual, <laughs> um, try and attract a few more people out. That'll be nice. Um, um, might try and start up a mum and baby group again. Yeah. Like I tried this year, but obviously yeah. with covid yeah, you've, we've, got, to we've got a little toddler ourselves, so it'll be, uh, it's nice for him as well. <laughs> that kind of, it kind of is nice to see as well, a proper family unit running yeah. the pub, isn't it? Because yeah. it's, it's how it used to be. Yeah. yeah. And it's how it should be. Yeah, you that. might you might change your mind if you saw him running around, though, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> a, pub, a, pub, a pub ain't right without a good woman, and I'll no. say that. And she she she's really the backbone of my pub. So, no, so I'll Lucy, try. you're the you're the guy who does all the work, and he does all the standing about chatting yeah. customers. Yeah, that that's right? the one. I'm outside doing all the back stuff. <laughs> New Year's going to be very different this year. Mm. Um, obviously, if you do want to book up, we we will be able to a sort of small quiz, I believe. Right. Um, it's, it's going to be very different. We can't see the new year through, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Tier 2, 10 o'clock, we've got to close. Um, so, yeah, if you want to celebrate your first half of the evening with us, that, that'll be fantastic. We, we can set up a free course meal. Um, so, yeah, if you want to get involved, please do. We can do a port and cheese sort of sort of evening as well. So, if you mm -hmm. want some port and cheese, we've got it. Um, so, yeah, any anything we really. Do, we're doing any a countdown requests. at 9 yeah. o'clock. Countdown at 9 <laughs> o'clock. <Right. laughs> Instead of 12 o'clock. Excellent. But, yeah, there will, there'll Do a be little no, mini New Year. Yeah, there'll no. be no fireworks, I'm afraid, but yeah. But you can have your first drink of 2021 at 10 past nine then. There you go. <laughs> that sounds like a deal, doesn't it? Really? Yeah, Definitely. that's that's what we thought. <laughs> Different pub companies yeah. have dealt with the pandemic differently. Mm. Yeah. But Green King did spend a lot, didn't they, yeah, on the PPE yeah, and yeah. making sure they all all the managers had visits from their managers to make sure everything was they understood all one meter plus yeah, and that risk all the risk assessments in place. were done. I've updated four risk assessments since being open so as soon as anything changes we're on it. Um, all the staff like I said have got to wear PPE inside as well and obviously we've got to advise the customers to do the same. Um, unfortunately at the moment you only can obviously share your table with the same household or support bubble. Um, you know hopefully uh, we, we can do enough to make you have an enjoyable experience and please do come down and support us mm -hmm.
So we just want to say a huge thank you to all our customers this last year. We know it's been difficult. We know we've been on a lot of your backs by saying, come on guys, stick to the rules. But most of you have been very supportive and we, we thank you. Um, you know, we couldn't have done it without you and we wouldn't still be here without you. Um, so we just want to say a huge Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to all of you. And we look forward to having a better 2021 with you all and a Happy New Year. Thanks guys.